Good morning. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, today is a Yoki service. Yoki is a very unusual Japanese. And uh, Yoki used to refer a uh, memorial service for the emperor or empress, or very high people. Uh, but uh, since this was, uh, today we have a handout. Uh, in 1524, Emperor Bukashiwabara ordered Yoki service for formation to observe a memorial service for formation for seven days. So this was the imperial order. So since 1524, the word Yoki can be used for our founder, uh, formation. And uh, our founder founded this school denomination in uh, 1175, uh, almost uh, 800 uh, so many years ago. And uh, since 1524, the uh, word yoki can be used for phone. And in Japanese, there are three uh, words for the, uh, you know, that express the respective word. One is, uh, one is bo, and another one is Yo. So we have any word, for example, hashi is a chopsticks in Japanese word, chopsticks. And uh, we put o hashi means uh, with polite way, we put o hashi. And also we have, we say, bohan is a rice, so we put go in front of Han, then become polite. And we have actually more or like denwa or denwa is a telephone, and sala, plate, osara. So, and senko, is an incense. And uh, by putting O in front of the word, the word will become very polite. And sometimes, uh, in most cases, we put O, and sometimes Go, and very unusual, but we sometimes put Gyo. And Gyo is actually highest. Yo is the highest respect, and we have sometimes the word Yoe is a imperial garden. Or another word for using Yo is Yoko, is, that is Emperor's brother, we call Yoko. 
So Nyo is the very highest among the three types of respected words. So today's service, Gyoki, is one of the highest memorial service for our founder. Then, uh, our founder has uh, three names. When he was born, his name was uh, Seishima, and uh, his uh, last name was Uruma. So his formal name was Uruma no Seishima. That was uh, his name. Then, when he became a priest, he was ordained. He was named as Genko. This is uh, his uh, over here. Genko is a uh, so Genku is a uh, his given name, and Gen comes from his first master Genko. So Genko is uh, Master Kone's first master, first teacher. That Genko, and second, his teacher is a Koe, and then uh, his teacher is Eiku. So Genko and Eiku taken from the first teacher and third teacher Eiku, his name became set as Genku. And also, during the time, each priest has a name of house because uh, the house indicates that uh, the priest lived the place. So he has a house name or a temple name in front of the game. So his house name where a whole nation used to be was whole name. So this is his formal, his formal long name is Honenbo Genku. And Honenbo indicates that uh, the place where he used to raise it. So his formal name is Honenbo Genku. But later on, uh, we take only for Honen. So his name is known as Honen Shou. Then, he also has uh, so many titles that uh, we call Daishigo. And Daishigo is a name uh, given by emperor. For the only high priest uh, gets a Daishigo. And Daishi means Literally means big teacher. So Daishi literally means big teacher and it indicates that this is a great master. And uh, Last year, we had a Shakuhachi concert at the Gawa International Center. That is, uh, the Shakuhachi master is called Daishihan. And uh, Dai is a big, and Shihan is a, also the teacher. Anyway, the title of Daishi is given to the very high priest. Uh, by emperor, and the whole nation has eight titles, starting from 1697. The first daishi, the emperor, the, this is a posthumous, posthumous name. So after he died, in order to commemorate his achievement, emperor gives the name. And the first, actually, master title was given by uh, Emperor in 1866 by uh, 
it was given to Saicho, Denkyo Daishi, who went to China to import Buddhism to Japan. So Saicho founded Tendai, Sek, Tendai School in Japan, and he was first uh, given uh, the title of Master Daishi. And then later, he was uh, the next, that is Kukai, who founded Shingo Mission uh, in Japan. And Kukai, his grand title is Kobo Daishi. And Kobo Daishi is actually so well known. So Daishi indicates that Kobo Daishi data. So we call Shingon Shu sometimes Shingon Mission like Odaishi san. So we call Odaishi san Odaishi san. That is a, means a great master, great master. So Kobo Daishi is very famous for great master, but actually Honen Shoni has eight titles. The reason why he got so many titles was uh, this Jodoshu uh, was supported by the Tokugawa government uh, during the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, about 260 years. During that time, the Tokugawa government supported Jodo mission. So that's why in order to uh, celebrate uh, his accomplishment, Honen Shoni got so many titles. So his title starting from Enko, Tozen, Eijo, Kokaku, Jikyo, Meisho, Wajun, and the latest grand title is Honi Daishi. That was uh, in commemoration of 800th Grand Memorial. The emperor now, the King Joten no, gave the posthumous name to our founder. So that is Honi Daishi. And eight Daishi Go, or Grand Master title, indicate that how, what was Honi Shonin like? What was the founder like? Because the name is so important. When people name, we think what kind of people we want to children to become. What kind of people he was like that? So that is a name. And interestingly, uh, name, the English word name comes from Namas. In Sanskrit word. And Namas literally means bow, Sanskrit word bow. But why people bow is because, why Namas is because Namas indicates that very important, very important. That's why people bow Namas. So then later Namas went to Europe and that became name. So, in India, people greet Namaste, Namaste, right? The Hindu, we uh, say Namaste means I respect you, I trust you, I take refuge in you. And why I take refuge in you is because Namas or name is very important. And in Greek, na name is like name. So there is a word, homonym. Homonym in, indicates that the same name, same, same sound of the name, homonym. So that name and uh, in Greek, name, and anyway, so name is very important. So I'd like to explain what was uh, his uh, name, the grand title name, the Enko. So the first grand master name is Enko Daishi. Enko is round right, round right. And round indicates that no corner. And he is very round, that indicates very warm. And also light, so round right. And second grand title is 
Tozen. Tozen is uh, literally means eastward, eastward. And eastward indicates that Buddhism has moved from west to east. So starting from India, it went to east, like Tibet, China, and also to Myanmar, Thailand, Japan, and Korea, Japan, and to Hawaii. So Buddhism is moving from west to east, right? And on the other hand, Western culture, Western culture is actually like a Greek, Rome, maybe Great Britain or Germany, and United States. Actually, the European view of the historic, his, uh, his, historical viewpoint of uh, by Europe is actually the culture, civilization is shifted from west, east to west, east to west. So that is uh, uh, very interesting that the Western culture is shifting east to west, and Eastern culture is actually shifting from west to east. And actually, because of the growth that our planet is around, eventually can go around, can go around. Yeah? So, but the, the understanding is that European culture is moving, you know, from Europe to the United States. But Eastern culture, we think the cult culture is moving from uh, west to east. Then Hawaii to mainland, Europe, and then going around. That is and then anyway, so the Toden is uh, literally means uh, moving east, moving east. And Ajo is to accomplish the wisdom, the accomplish the wisdom. So Honen Shonin was a man of wisdom, that indicated. And Kokaku is uh, to spread the enlightenment, to spread the enlightenment. So, our master was like to spread the enlightenment. And Jikyo is, the word Jikyo means very compassionate teaching, very compassionate teaching. That is Jikyo. And Meisho, that is uh, uh, the title Meisho was given in 1911. So 1911, uh, Jodoshu, this denomination celebrated. 700 memorial, grand memorial. At the time, the grand title, Meisho, was given. And uh, Meisho means uh, uh, illuminates brightly. Illumination of the bright, illumination of the bright. That is the Meisho. So when, uh, you know, the, they celebrated 700th grand memorial, the main show was given, and that's why we use it. And uh, about 100 years ago, about the, this temple was built in 1910. So this is the age that uh, many people came to Hawaii, to Japan. So a lot of our organization use the word main show. Like uh, Hiro main show in, in the Big Island, that was uh, founded in 1911. So when they celebrated 700 grand memorial, so their temple name was named after Meisho. So that's why they say Hiro Meisho. And we have a women's organization known as Meisho Fujinkai. That is women's uh, club. That is also we have Meisho. So anyway, Meisho comes from the master title given by Meisho. And then, in 1961, Wajun is a uh, to follow to follow the peace to follow the peace. So that is uh, the literal translation. Wajun. So Honen Shonin was a man to follow the peace. And the latest. Daishigo, the grand title is Honi Daishi. 
and ho ni dai shi and ho nen actually very close that ho ni means that the dharma naturally appear dharma naturally appear that is the meaning of ho ni so today uh, we have a service order uh, starting from Koge, Samborai, and Bujo. And Bujo, usually we invite Amida Buddha and Bodhisattva to come to bless this place. But today, this Bujo bell is a special. So we have actually uh, handed out in the comment. Uh, and uh, today's Bujo is. Ishin Bujo, Shu So Enko, Tozen Ejo, Kokaku Jikyo, Mesho, Wajun Daishi, Ganyu Dojo, Jugakuyo. It's a very long because his eight titles, grand title include. So, meaning that we reverently call upon the Master Hone to come enter this Pondo and please receive our offering. Please receive our offering. Please come to this play and please receive our offering. That is the meaning of Jugakuyo. So today uh, we use very special invitation that Master Hone please come to this place and receive our offering. That is a uh, uh, Today's special visual. And uh, sorry, and today's service may be a little longer <laughs> because this is a so special service. And uh, one of the most uh, great accomplishments of Holy Show is that the original practice of Nembutsu was to contemplation and to contemplation of Buddha and to contemplation of Buddha land is a most important practice. And this was regarded as a very high practice. So please to stay in the one temple and to meditate, to contemplate Buddha figure and Buddha land. That was a main, uh, main uh, practice. And we call it Kanzatsu or Kanne is a contemplation, meditation of Buddha. But Hone Shoni values that instead of meditation, to call upon Buddha name, to call upon the vocalization of Buddha name includes the meditation. And the vocalization of Nembutsu or to say Namu Amida or to repeat Buddha name is was considered to be very lower practice, very lower practice. High practice is to meditation, and lower practice is to call Buddha name many times. Because they thought that to call Buddha name that everybody can do. And meditation is that only learned or experienced priests, they can meditate. That was a very common view out of that age. But four nations is say that no, to call Buddha name is actually better because everybody can do. That is actually greater than only a few people can do meditation. So that's why he spread that to call Buddha name is superior than the meditation. So our tradition repeat Namu Amida Buddha name many times because this is that we can do, uh, everybody can do. That whole nation shows a way. And this Namu Amida is not only live in this moment, but also this can lead us to the Amida Buddha land. Because it is Amida Buddha that uh, offered us, please come to my land after you die. After you die, please come to my land. I embrace you, you know, I offer you. 
And Amida Buddha says that, I hope you come. And so the way to say Namu Amida is uh, actually Amida's wish. Not my wish. Amida says that, please come. So say Namu Amida is actually Amida Buddha's uh, wish that the potential our founder uh, say. So anyway, uh, we'd like to start from page 12, Koge. Uh, it's a verse of incense. Yeah. <laughs> 
So he will be collected under the guarantees for the builder's work. Again, it consists of an accountable infinite plan. By writing that shall completely eliminate and abate reward in them. That's my devotional practices and samurai powers to be impossible to reach. May I become a Buddha whose land is most sublime. May all who are there be wondrous and unique, and may this place of practice be supreme. This land will be like the ultimate enlightenment and beyond compare. I will have compassion for all beings and emancipate them. Though from the same direction it will come to be all in my land. Their mind will be joyful and pure. Having reached my land, they will immediately experience happiness and misery. May the Buddha believe in me and be my true witness. I bow before you to dedicate my strength in achieving this aspiration. The war and the ones of the ten directions having an infinite wisdom. May they forever restore this honor and know my will to practice. Even if my body must undergo all suffering and pain, I will carry out my practice with diligence and endurance with pain, without Page 68. 68. <laughs>
Thank you very much for this campaign that you have to this. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank you very much. Is there any question first time? No. Okay. Thank you very much.